Welcome. My name is Jan Eide. I would like to greet my new sisterhood, the Real Women of Philadelphia. I'd also like to greet and thank Paula Dean and Kraft who made all of this possible. This week is week five. We are doing side dishes and we've been asked to mix it up a little bit. So I found this very old cookbook. As a matter of fact, I'm cooking one of the recipes in it right now. And I've included in my pantry some of the items that were found in the recipes in the cookbook. The only thing I recognized was Philadelphia cream cheese, but it inspired me to create my shrimp and shiitake pasta. However, instead of eyes of newt, I use spring peas. Instead of poisonous mushrooms, I use shiitake. I opted to leave out the spider veins. Nobody seems to want spider veins. But this is a lovely pasta for spring. It has a light wine cream sauce. I think you're gonna love it. Well, my please pick me potion is coming along beautifully. So I'm going to turn my attention over to our ingredients. I'm using shiitake mushrooms rather than a button mushroom or a portobello mushroom because shiitake mushrooms have a lot of flavor. They are, in my opinion, the king of mushrooms. If Kraft were to make a mushroom, they would make shiitake. I'm also using Key West shrimp. It's a beautiful pink pearlized shrimp. I haven't cooked these yet. Whenever possible, I like to use local ingredients. Then we're using English peas or spring peas. And they are so fabulous for a spring pasta dish. And for this dish, I'm gonna be using bow tie pasta. I've already cleaned off my shiitake mushrooms and stemmed them, and I'm julienning them. And the reason we can julienne them again is because they have so much flavor, we can cut them into nice, small strips. We're gonna be using tarragon in our sauce, and you might think that dill would be the herb used. However, tarragon is a wonderful herb with fish and also works beautifully with mushrooms and peas. We're only gonna be using about a teaspoon of it though because we want it to be a back note in the sauce and not overpower the flavors. I wanna show you how to clean up the, the shrimp. It's very easy to do. I'm just gonna take my kitchen shears and cut down the back of the shrimp now some of these have been fighting me, so we'll see how easy it goes, but generally speaking, the shells usually come off pretty easily. We'll see how this goes. Um, I have a cute story about uh, peas to tell you. My little niece, uh, when she was taking her test in elementary school, now you have to keep in mind that her mother is from Minneapolis, and she was being raised in the South. At that time, they were in Alabama, now they're in Atlanta. But uh, she was taking a test on the color green and she put down peas as the color green and her teacher marked that answer wrong. So my sister went in to talk to the teacher because she couldn't understand why peas would not fall under the color green, only to find out that in the South, those peas would be considered English peas. So happily to tell you that my little niece got that extra point and we all got a lesson on green peas. The shrimp have been shelled and now all that's left to do is to vein them. Down the back of each shrimp is a vein and I'm not sure how well that's gonna show up on camera, but we're going to go run these under cold water to get rid of the vein. Of course, this is a step you wouldn't have needed to do if you had purchased them already shelled and deveined. I have salted water on to boil for the pasta and while that's coming to a rolling boil, we can start working on the sauce. In a cold pan, I put chicken broth and cornstarch and we're going to use a whisk to Whisk that up over medium heat until it starts to thicken. The sauce is thick, so we've added in our peas, some pepper, 
our mushrooms and a couple tablespoons of our Chardonnay. As the rule goes, you do not want to put anything in your food that you wouldn't love to drink. We're going to put a cover on top of the mushroom mixture and let them cook for about five to seven minutes on medium. And while they're cooking, I've got my shrimp in another pan with the tarragon. We're just going to cook that for uh, three to five minutes while until they're opaque. Well, our cream sauce is perfect and the pasta is finished so we'll just toss the pasta in our cream sauce and now you can see why the sauce is so thick because we have a lot of pasta here. I'm just going to toss this pasta in the sauce and then I will toss in my tarragon shrimp and we'll plate it. We'll see in a moment. The shrimp is tossed in with the pasta and we've topped it with freshly grated Parmesan cheese. We're serving it with steak right off the grill. It's a fabulous surf and turf. The light wine cream sauce, woodsy mushrooms, sweet peas. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Thank you, Philadelphia Cream Cheese.